In this video, I will take a look at the NS Panel Pro from Sunoff. I've been meaning to get a wall panel or screen to control my smart home for a while, I just haven't found the right product yet. I like the idea of a control panel because it isn't as antisocial as a phone is. That's especially important to me because I have kids around and I don't want to be on my phone all the time. Also, it's probably more wife friendly. This product from Sunoff might actually be very close to what I'm looking for. Full disclosure, Sunoff did send me this product, but they haven't told me to say anything in particular about it. So right out of the box, this product is actually a Zigbee hub, and you are meant to connect your devices to it. That's not really what I'm after because I want to control my existing Zigbee network using this screen. So, because it is running Android, it is possible to sideload apps and I will therefore install the Home Assistant Companion app on it, and then create a dedicated dashboard just for this. Looking at the product itself, it does look really nice. With a matte black finish, it will look pretty good in the living room. If you don't want it mounted to the wall, you could use this stand instead. This is probably what I will end up doing because I then don't need an electrician to install it, and it's a bit more accessible with the tilted screen. The screen is 4 inches and 480 by 480 pixels. It is definitely bright enough, and it's got a proximity and light sensor as well, although I am yet to figure out how to use that, except for waving in front of the screen. This is the dashboard I have created for it. Still a work in progress, but it's close to what I want. On the front page, I just have the clock, the current weather, and two buttons. These are all cards that I've showed how to create in earlier videos. The first button can open and close the door. The second button can show the Wi-Fi password. I've created an automation, so that when the button is clicked, it will hide the password again after a few seconds. I can also click the weather icon to show more detailed weather info. From this front page, I can scroll either left or right. To the left, I have created a vacuum page. Here I can select what rooms I want to vacuum and can then start the vacuuming of those rooms. A neat feature is this submenu that I can enable with a button. Here I have various controls for the vacuum, like intensity and modes. I use conditional cards to toggle this subpage. To the right of the front page, I have light and scene controls for each room. By default, I have each light as a slider. But if I toggle a submenu, I have buttons that will activate various scenes or automations. I am still trying to figure out what functions are the most handy to have in this submenu. I don't want to overcrowd these screens, so less is more in this case. I can then navigate through the rooms by either using the arrow buttons or the drop down menu. Lastly, if I scroll to the right again, I have a page where I have just placed some fun functions. My girlfriend really loves this button that tells her when the next Man United game is. Next United camp is against Luton on Sunday, the 18th of February, at half six. Or these really bad jokes. What kind of wine do you drink most of on South Pole? Ping wine. Sorry about the language here. And from there, it's back to the front page. I really love this panel. I think it's super handy and makes it easy to control the vacuum and lights. My girlfriend even thinks it's nice, so we will probably get another one to have upstairs as well. There's a link in the description for where you could get one with a small discount. It would help the channel out as well. For the future, I would love to somehow get access to the light and proximity sensors. If I do, I could probably use this panel as a motion sensor. There's an Android app in development that might make this possible. If you're wondering about how to install Home Assistant, etc., I've added links to a couple of really nice tutorials in the description. Also, let me know if you want me to show any behind the scenes and code of the dashboard. Thanks for watching. Until next time.